How to grow a small account part two. Let's get it. What's going on you guys? It's your boy Jeremy Cash live and direct with another valuable video for you. What's good family? Hey yo, so this is gonna be part two. All right, so before we even get into the video, make sure you like this video, thumbs it up, get it to a thousand plus likes. Just for me showing love and showing you how to do these things, you feel me? Make sure you comment your cash outs, Bitcoin, PayPal, whatever you got below. As I make money, I'll give it back to y'all. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, man, so I had a good time in Vegas. For those of you who were wondering, I had a great time in Vegas. It was lit. You know what I'm saying? Man, I, like I said, y'all better get out there and travel. Get y'all travel in before they shut us back down because you know it's coming. So, man, I hope y'all be safe out there, though. Stay masked up, giddy. And uh, yeah, but we're going to hop into this video real quick. Um, somebody asked me why did I get rid of my course? I didn't get rid of it, um, but I just stopped selling it right now because first and foremost, I only wanted to work with a certain amount of people. Um, I got like over 3,000 students. Um, and I was like, okay, if I continue to get so much more, I won't be able to focus on them. Uh, everybody I need to focus on. Wifey calling. Hold on. Bay, what's up? You on video? Don't be laughing now. Right in the middle. I put you on the video so now they can hear you. You I feel? Oh, she about to fuss at me, y'all. I'm in trouble. No, not you. Oh. About the tax commission. Oh, the tax commission. What them taxes and hold you. Hi, everybody. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> well, just call me when you're done. Okay. Love you. Love you, too. But, yeah, so we back at it again. You did. But, yeah, so um, the reason why I, like, got rid of it is because I, I only wanted to work with a certain amount of students. Um, And once I got to a certain amount, then, you know, I wanted to shut it off. And then another reason was because of the payment processors I've been working with been on some BS, man. Like, you know, so I just had to stop. I had to stop. I may bring it back. People keep asking, are you going to bring it back, bro? I need that. So I may bring it back. I just don't know when. I'm, I'm going to let y'all know. I'm going to work some things out and we'll see. But uh, without further ado, let's hop into this video. Yo, what's good, my family? So we back on day two, you dig? So... Uh, I just missed an alert. It told me across, uh, first it crossed into, you know, the oversold zone. I mean, overbought zone, which was right here. So it got to what 77 on the RSI turned green for the NBA strategy, right? Uh, then the market shot down. So how many pips did I miss out on? You know what I'm saying? I didn't catch that one. I was moving too slow. I'll be trying to feed the kids in the morning. You dig? So that's what 19 pips, about 20 pips I missed out on off that, that small move. Uh, so, you know, this trade I'm going to sit on and wait. I think GU, let me go to GU right here. So, GU I have in the zone. Um, it's headed towards the 75. All right. So, we might be able to catch that. Uh, but I also drew a trend line, you know, coming down this way. It already broke trend. So, it came down, bounced, right? Broke trend right here. Came back, retested. Let me get a closer look so y'all can see. Right? Broke trend retest it and then it's been going up in this zone right here and that's where we at now on this one so i'm looking at trying to trade gu uh and potentially eu if it give me another signal here so let me see yeah so let me let me raise this one up just a little bit let's see if it'll let me do that boom so we get a little closer look right there all right so yeah bounce you know this zone still coming down here bounce right here and it's headed up so i'll be back when i find a setup and then we'll get in yo so i got the alert that you know the rsi hit 75 on the 15 and it hit 76 you know on the uh, h1 so i'm trying to debate if i want to trade the m15 to the h1 uh i'm thinking i might go with the h1 so what I'm doing right now is just peeping it, seeing where it's headed. RSI still pushing. Got 11 minutes on this candle, and then on the M15, we still got 11 minutes on this candle. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead. It looks like it's starting to push, so I'm gonna go ahead and wait for a second. Back out. 
All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and get in, y'all. Get in our cell. Right here at the top. Okay. Then, uh, I think that's a good, pretty good position. We're going to hold it for a coolie. You did? This on the H1, so you already know. You already know how that go on the H1. May 15. See, we already hit profit right now. Uh, well, it just disappeared, but we'll see because it may continue to shoot shoot up depending on you know what it's doing. But it won't be shooting up for too long before we get into profit. So that's what I'm doing, and I will be back to let y'all know what we get. All right, yo, and as you can see right now, guys, I am up in profit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got in in multiple positions, so I've been holding this trade on the one hour for like uh, three hours now, y'all. Like three hours I've been holding this trade. Um, so what happened was the reason why I got on multiple positions is because right here it got to like uh 76, I believe. Okay. Um well let me go back to the H1 because that's exactly where I'm placed the trades on. But right here it got to like 76, so I placed one. It went all the way up until I think the highest point that it got to was around like let me see if it'll show me. It looks like around like 80 or, or did it get to 80? 77 so it got up to like 77 so around 77 is when i placed uh multiple trades i start as it start coming back down i start placing multiple trades and so that's where we're at right now we're already up what 126 it was like 140 something but like i said it's been fluctuating um <clears throat> i just been holding it and so that nba strategy like i said works you know works wonders and that's that's just how you do it man like i said you got to be patient like i said it took me three hours of holding this trade for it to actually do this it's been sitting here forever um but i mean like i said with patience guys it's it's all day like i said i can hold this trade which i'm about to like i said i've been holding it been fluctuating doing this the whole time It'll, it'll, you know, spike up, and then it'll go, but retrace back and spike up again. So I just been holding it, and then um, I may hold it for the full day. I don't know. I may come back when I'm happy with my profit. Uh, if it's going too slow, I might just close it early and just take what I can get. But uh, I'll be back again, guys. So peace. Yo, real quick, I'm about to um switch these mics out so it don't sound weird. Hold on, y'all. All right, y'all. So right now, I would actually be up about uh, $140, $150 right now. But during, it's like four in the afternoon, they usually widen the spread. So they'll open the spread up. So that way I'm not in profit. So, which is pretty gay. <laughs> it's pretty whack. But um, I'm going to probably have to hold this even longer than I expected uh, to get the results that I want. So I'll probably have to hold it all the way through London session. So I'm just going to hold it and then I guess I'll be back once it's done playing your boy. You feel Yo, so right now we at 130. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just get out. Uh brings my equity up to five hundred and is that sixty two dollars. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take all of these. So now the account, you know, went from four thirty one to five sixty two uh yeah the market man today was just a slow day i guess so um i'm gonna hop back in here probably tomorrow's tomorrow thursday i think i believe tomorrow's thursday yeah so i'm gonna try to hop back in here on another day and see if we can you know run it up and we're just gonna keep going but this is how you grow small accounts sometimes you got you know uh fast days that you you in and out sometimes you got slower days uh but this this uh tray right here just took a lot of patience you know what i'm saying it took a cool minute for it to especially on the one hour especially you know after you get to around you know that one o'clock market going extra slow start consolidating real bad i didn't really feel like waiting no no longer uh for it so when i came back and checked it still wasn't doing nothing uh was still hovering around the 130 140 mark so i said let me go ahead and just take that uh and then you know i'll come back on another day and just leave it at that you know what i'm saying but this is how you grow a small account little by little guys so when people tell you you know you can't grow a small account you can you just got to be patient you got to wait for the right setups and uh i will see you guys in another video 
You feel me? When I get another setup. Holla child. Peace.